starting off that big issue. What, what happened in the beginning of this game? Well, we just didn't get off to the start that we wanted to. You know what I mean? It just everything that we talk about and trying to to start the game off, um, you know, get the first first down, get into drives, everything that we preach and teach, you know, and try to execute, you know, just wasn't there. And uh, you know, like it is on a lot of things, it's one guy here, one thing here. Um, and it comes down to, you know, us playing much more complimentary in, in every phase. I mean, it just felt like we were three groups that were independent of each other. Uh, not not working together, and, and I have to figure that out here uh, quickly to make sure that we all three phases are, are complementing each other and we're finding ways to capitalize on turnovers and taking care of the football, running it, and making sure that we you know, find ways to affect the quarterback and not allow him to be so efficient. So my groups playing complementary was your big off-season focus. That's the first thing you told us about in the spring was that these guys were going to understand each other and play together that well, way. Well, they're the groups, the units. You know, I mean, again, we all have off-season objectives. This, this is what happens in the National Football League when you don't play well. And, uh, you know, told the team, told you guys, tell everybody again. I think we'll find out what our culture looks like, you know, this week and, in, and when we wake up in the morning and see what guys that want to come to work and guys that want to figure out a way to try to win a football game. Well, I meant, you know, that's what this game comes down to, man, one on one, and uh, you know we'll have to identify what the what the issues were. We'll, we'll watch the tape, we'll correct, and we'll coach, and we'll teach, you know, and then we'll have to practice. You know, that's what happens. And um, you know, they, they they were clearly better. They they clearly were better coached, and and, and they played better. Free click. How much of that? Just trying to get some kind of a spark to get some positive. Well, just trying to do something. You know, I mean, we you know we we, we took a chance there, and then. You know, we'll walk out onto the field, which, you know, was frustrating, and you can't capitalize on that. Um, you know, and those, those are things, you know, I mean, the, you know, the flea flicker, you know, well-timed, well-executed. There just wasn't enough of it. There just wasn't enough. We'd make, play well on defense, and then, you know, the quarterback on third and ten, we'd have pressure and, you know, run for, you know, run around and, you know, and complete a pass. And, you know, again, that that's just the guy making a play. You know what I mean? It wasn't. Poor effort, poor execution. I mean, we got him moving, and you know, and then again, the guy made a play. But that just seemed like how it was. We got a turnover. Um, you know, just just too little, too late. Well, I mean, I don't obviously think that there's, an, and when you go into it, you don't think that there's, um, you know, an issue in preparation. I mean, again, they they may have run a few plays that that we didn't show them in practice out of the, the plays that they had schemed or, you know, um, or fronts on defense that we hadn't seen. Again, that's, you know, you get out there and it's critical that everybody's on the same page. And then, you know, attitude. I mean, I hope that we have an attitude that is ready to compete um, and not just think that we can, you know, just show up in this league. You know, this is a great league that doesn't matter where you came from, where you're drafted. How expensive your suit is, or your watch is, or what kind of car you drive. You got to go out and prove it on the field. What made Chandler Jones such a problem today? Chandler Jones has been a problem for a lot of years, and uh, he's a good player. And, uh, you know, you got to make a decision where you're going to put people and where you're going to allocate them. And, you know, so we'll have to, to look at that and, and see those matchups. But give, give him a lot of credit. He's, he's been a really good player for, for a lot of time, a lot of years. Like how disappointing is this just overall and even and give, give, Joe, you know what I mean it is it's it's disappointing when you lose it's disappointing when you lose at home um, you know it's a long season it's a long season you know you, you play like that there should be no shock you know we shouldn't um, we shouldn't have to look too long and hard while you lost the game there's a lot of reasons it's out there um, and, and I'm confident that we'll we'll bounce back and we'll be uh you know, we'll be ready to compete, um, you know, this week. And, and, I'm, and I'm confident in that I am, you know. But it's unfortunate. It is disappointing. There is no other way to put it. Um, it. It sucks when you lose. It sucks when you get your ass kicked. All the credit to Cliff and his staff and those players. You know, they, they beat us and outcoached us. It felt like you guys finally had found a resolution to the kicking position and then kicking goes on IR. Hey. That's how it goes, man. Got to be ready, you know. Got to be ready to adjust and... And make some, uh, you know, decisions. Uh, like you said, we 
put Sam on IR. Michael is here. You know, we'll reevaluate that position here in the morning. Is there something to be said then, Mike, for the lack of time the offense spent together? There's a million excuses, John. Um, I'm not going to make any. I, I refuse to. Uh, I hope that the players don't. I mean, there's a million excuses that we can write about. Uh, the only thing that we need to focus on is, is when we wake up tomorrow morning, uh, you know, that we're ready to, to go to work and we're ready to improve and, uh, and quit, you know, thinking about being good. We've got to go be good, and we have to prepare and coach um, to, to win a game. Did you taking Ryan out for the beating he's taken there in a game that's out of hand? Well, there was, you know, once we started getting in there, you know, late there, um, I did. I thought we could move down, and when we didn't score, we were going to hand the ball off there at the end. So, um, you know, there were a lot of things that we considered, you know, at that point in time. Late the second, Mike, did you consider going for it on the fourth and one? Well, we're trying to get some points. You know, I mean, again, and if we can sit there and have a crystal ball to know that we were going to not make the field goal, trying to get it to 15 points, right? Trying to get it to a legitimate two-score game at halftime, um, and and we missed the kick. You know, made a decision, and we missed the kick. And there's nothing you can do about it after you decide to go for it, uh, except try to come back out in the second half and get some stops and uh, and try to score and chip away at it. I mean, we try to, you know, there were plays that we try to get for those guys early in the year. And again, you know, when they get targeted, doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that there aren't plays that are called for them. You know, understand that. Um, but, but I'm with you. You know, I mean, we, we have to find, you know, AJ and, um, you know, and then Julio's got to take advantage of his opportunities. You know, we had some drops. You know, he dropped some passes. Swain dropped the pass, and those are contested catches. But you know, those are ones that we have to you know come up with. Is there a better way you guys can prepare to go against you know a jitterbug like like Kyler Murray, especially considering next week you got Russell Wilson? I mean, what, I mean, if you can tell me a way to prepare for five guys chasing after one with five guys blocking, it, you know what I mean? Like that's what. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, he made a play. You know, I mean, we're chasing at the depth. We got him off the spot. He plants his back foot. You know, at some point in time, you know, you got to think that these guys are, you know, and he, he's an exceptional player and he made a play. You know, I mean, yeah, we can, we can try to prepare. We can chase a, a, a jitterbug around the practice and think that that, but he made a play. You know, and that's unfortunate on third and 10. Um, and, and I'm not going to take anything away from him. We executed the rush. Came back the next time, he didn't take off and try to step up. And, and Jeff came around where he was supposed to come and he got sacked. So I don't, I don't know if, if, if Kyler knows where he's going. He just is going and, you know, being a natural athlete. So, again, I'll give all the credit to, to them, their players, and their coaching staff.